Hi folks, thanks a lot for tuning in to the Goalie Llamas channel. I really appreciate it when you hit that like button and when you hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out a lot. Anyways, like and subscribe to my channel. And if you really don't like what I'm doing, don't worry about it. Morning folks. Welcome to the Goalie Llamas channel. Today we're going to go a little off track and I'm going to do a little cooking video on how I make a modified western omelette. Um, here's my setup, my ingredients. I got a little piece of tomato I got left over in the fridge. I got some red onion, some jalapeno cheese, a little bit of boar's head ham, a little bit of green onion I'm going to slice up. There's a green pepper that I'll dice a little bit into there. And I like to use egg whites. This is no particular brand. I like the egg whites because I'm old in my cholesterol. I'm going to use a touch of olive oil as well as some butter. So, um, oh, and here's a couple bags of candy. I bring these to my mom pretty much every day. Some uh, Hershey's Kisses and some Werther's Originals. Alright, so, so let me get into the dicing. First I'm going to get my uh, pan heated up. Because I'm quick with a knife. I was a chef for about 25 years before I went into technology for a living. And before we get going, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that thumbs up button because it helps out a lot. Thanks. On with the show. First I'm going to clean the pepper. I certainly won't need the whole thing, so I'll uh, gut it. Pick these white innards out of it. I'm not going to use a lot of this. I'm just going to use some of it and put the rest off to the side. I'll do a fine dice here today. All the veggies. A little bit of onion. I will squeeze the seeds out of this tomato slice here. It'll keep the omelet from being wet. If I really wanted to be crazy about it, I could put these on a little piece of paper towel and uh, let those soak up a little bit. I'll dice up a little green onion that I'll throw in 
the same time as the tomato because I don't really want to overcook that. I'll put that, see, save these off to the side. Healthy cooking, ladies and gentlemen, right here at the bungalow. I'll take the ham. I'll dice that nice and small as well. So it's easily distributed throughout the egg in the cooking. This counter is really short. This house was designed by an architect. Him and his wife lived in it and they were both under five feet tall. Little known fact about the bungalow. So here's the veggies, the ham, tomatoes draining. Get that a little press and get some more of the juice out of there. The drier I can make this, the better. All right. Now let's head to the pan. Heat the pan to a medium heat with a little olive oil in it. And keep your hair and your beard out of the pan. I will begin to add the veggies. Add a nice sizzle. Green peppers, red onions, I like to use a spatula to move this stuff around. Things are cooking nicely. Once that's cooked down a little bit, in goes the green onions, the ham, Just before I add the egg, I put a little pat of butter in there. A little extra flavor and goodness. I've already been out for a walk today, so this will replenish my energy. Take the egg whites, make sure they're well shaken. Add some to the mixture. Couple cranks of fresh Himalayan salt. No idea why they have a expiration date on 1,000 year old salt. Couple cranks of fresh black pepper. A 
cover it up. And let it cook for a few minutes. There we go. Boom. The big flap. Don't try this at home. Put the cheese on. Cover it back up. Turn the stove off. Let that cheese melt. Remove the cover. Take a look at that. Put your egg, fold it over. Bon appetit. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Peace.